Hi, I'm Michael Obasha, and welcome to another episode of Hear the Music on the Panel Show. I am here with greatness today with Matt Scullion, singer-songwriter. How are you? Good, thank you. And also Leonie McClaw, our radio presenter slash producer. Hello, Michael. How are you? I'm very well, thank you for joining us this morning. No worries. I need to ask you, Matt Scullion, what is your passion with music? Passion with music? I don't know. It's a good question. It's just something I love. Um, always loved it. Ever since I first picked up a guitar when I was 16 years old, I knew I knew what I wanted to do. Mm. I didn't, and I've, and I've always been the same. Mm. Just love to do it. And f- uh, fortunately for me, at, a, at an early age, or pretty much when I picked the guitar up, I started writing songs straight away. Mm. And I fell in love with songwriting, and it's just progressed from there. And um, but but definitely definitely lyrics, and that's what mm. drew me to country music. Always is mm. the, is the storytelling and the yeah. words, and uh, yeah, I just, I just, I just love all, all aspects of music: the travel, the people you meet, um, the storytelling, the mm. performing. Mm. It's all, it's, it's great. You're a respected songwriter, actually. Yeah, yeah you've oh, worked thanks. the likes of people like Cold Chisel. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, that was, that was, that was interesting because Ian Moss, yeah. uh, he, uh, he's from Alice Springs, Anne, and I, I spent a fair bit of time living in the Northern Territory. And so I met Ian a few times, and I, actually when I went over to um, over to Fiji once to do a gig, we were on the same bill. Yeah. So we um, we had a we had a few um, Fiji lagers that night and had a bit of a sore head the next day. Yeah, <laughs> that's another story. Sorry, Fiji bitter, I think it was. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I was when I was living in Nashville, mm. probably about four years ago. Uh, a friend of mine, Sam Hawksley, was um, <clears throat> was was producing an album for Ian. Well, Ian was over there writing songs and he said, I said, hey Sam, what have you been up to? He said, oh, I'm actually doing some, doing some work with Ian next week. Would you, like to, would you like to do some songwriting with him? I went, my God, I'd love to write with Ian Moss, mm, you know? Mm. So anyway, long story short, we got together, we wrote a couple of songs together <coughs> and it worked out fantastic. And Ian went back home and I was thinking to myself, you know, I might be able to, if I get lucky, I might get a song on one of Ian Moss's solo albums, which would be fantastic. But then he sends me a text message and says, um, been running the songs past the boys in Chisel because I didn't know Chisel was doing another album. And he said, uh, "It looks like uh, there's a, the song's called Shoot the Moon. It looks like they're gonna the boys want to record Shoot the Moon on the next Cold Chisel album." So I was like, "Wow!" I was like, "Maybe I might get a song on an Ian Moss album to having a song on a Chisel album." So that was a big buzz. But the worst thing about it, well, yeah. the worst thing about it, Michael, was <laughs> yeah. that I was in Nashville. Yeah. No one in the hell knows who Cold Chisel is over there. Oh. I mean, I'm trying to tell them. They go, "Well, who's Cold Chisel?" I'm like, "Well." Cold Chisel's like Australia's maybe Journey, the band Journey, because mm. they love Journey over there. I said, that's about the... So I'm running around yelling, I've got a song on a Cold Chisel album, but no one knew who they were. <laughs> wow. Well. Except for the Aussies over there, that is. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. that was... Anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing the story. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Leonie, how are you going? Good, Michael. You're an amazing radio presenter at oh, 2 Triple R you. and a producer and a country's passion uh, for music. I do. Is, is I have your a passion. huge passion for And you guys know each other? Absolutely. Ca- absolutely. I've known Matt for a lot of years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I do have a huge passion for country music, mm-hmm. especially independent country mm-hmm. artists. Yeah. There's so many of them. And I, people say, who's your favourite? I really don't have favourites. I always say that's my favourite because they're all my favourites. So, yeah, I have mm-hmm. a huge passion for artists like Matt and what they've done and their accolades. And it's, and and it's people like Leone that keep the, mm. that keep the country music industry going. Mm. Because, I mean, there are the people at the top, yeah. but there's a lot more people down there yeah. that, are, that are coming through the ranks and it's mm. people like Leone that play our music mm. And, mm. and keep us out there. So mm. That's gorgeous. That's it, gives us a, it gives us a reason. I mean, the reason we do it is because we love to do it, but at the same mm. time we want to be heard. Mm. And people mm. like Leone and a lot of, a lot of the other mm. community radio stations out there, mm. we know that if we... If we do record something and it's, it's, of course, it's got to be of decent quality. Mm. Mm. We know that at least we'll have a chance of, of getting it heard. So, mm. Mm. yeah, thank That's you. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, How does that make you feel right now? Leanne? Makes me feel good. <laughs> yeah. um, I love everything I do with country music. I've interviewed so many amazing artists, and um, mm. I'm interviewing Matt next week, actually. Yeah. And you know, I mean, I once again, I don't say people say you've got favourites. You must have a favourite. 
Mm. They're all favourites. Yeah. They're all, it's like yeah. a country music family. Mm. And, you know, I always, I started up something, I think it was 20 years ago, and it was a country music family card. And um, everybody said, I want one of those, you know, and it was just, it got bigger and bigger and bigger. And I thought, we were up to about, I think, 10,000. And yeah. we, we just had to stop because it was, it was too big mm. and it yeah. was, you know, it mm. was a lot of fun. Mm. And yeah, and because that's hence why I got into radio. Mm. And um, I started out in Wonderland, mm. Australia's Wonderland. Do you yeah. remember when oh. they were doing the six weeks of country? Yeah, yeah. And my first person that I met was Leanne Rhymes and Keith Urban oh, and wow. Slim Dusty <laughs> and <laughs> Simply Bush, Wayne Law, you know, and I went, wow, you know, I'm <laughs> loving what I'm seeing. And because then the Dead Ringer Band, who, you know, like Casey Chambers and Bill Chambers, yeah. and <coughs> you sort of think, there's nowhere that you can sit all day, every weekend for six weeks and see this amazing talent. Yeah. And um, it, it was yeah. great. Yeah. And that's what got me into country music. Mm-hmm. So that's gorgeous. Mm. Beautiful story there. Yeah. Um, now, Matt, yes? I'm going to ask you, you've won some accolades over the years and one of them is <laughs> the golden guitar for your songwriting. That- yeah. Can, oh, congratulations, first thank and you. foremost. That's thank amazing. You, thank, you, thank you. How was that feeling for you? Undescribable. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I've, I've, I've done the golden guitar speech in my head so many times. Every time I write a song that I think is really good, I get so excited and I jump around the room and I do karate kicks. And I, <laughs> I, I, I get so excited about songwriting and I think, wow, this could be a, this could be a golden guitar nom- finalist, this song, you know. So I've yeah. done this speech in my head, but... You, it never turns out the way that you think it's going to turn mm. out. Mm. You know, like if, if you're going to a place that you've never been before, you imagine what it's going to be like and then you get there and it's, it, it never looks like what you imagined. Yeah. That's what it's like being up on that stage. And to make things worse was I had a really, really, really bad flu and cold that year. So it wasn't this festival, it was last January. And I had a really, really I was so sick and I had all these gigs. I got through all my gigs. I got to the... so. Um, my, my partner and I, Sharon, we got to the we got to the to the awards that night. And as we're walking in to, to, to be seated, Travis and Amber are on stage singing our backyard of the song. <laughs> and I'm thinking, wow, this is a good sign. This is a good yeah. sign. I had this cough medicine with me, and it was really strong cough medicine. And I, I kept swigging on it because I was coughing all the time, and I didn't want to be sitting there because well, they, they had us right down the front. Mm. Lee Gurney was in front of me, and oh, wow. Troy Cassidale and everyone sitting. I said, the last thing I want to be doing is coughing. And they're announcing awards. So I was swigging on this cough medicine. So by the time my, my name got read out, I was all dizzy from the, from the cough medicine. So I walked up there and oh, I was just so sick. I was really yeah. sick and it was really hard. I got my speech out, um, yeah. said what I had to say. Mm. But then the worst part about it was afterwards, there was a big party afterwards and mm. it, it was at the powerhouse in Tamworth and mm. there was a, everybody was there. So I went there with Sharon and... I was so sick. I went to the bar and got one drink. I had a sip and I said, Sharon, let's go. I just felt so sick. I just didn't know. It was awful. And I wanted to, I wanted to bathe, in my, bathe in my moment, but I couldn't. Mm. I had a quick gag to Troy and a quick gag to Lee. And I said, guys, I've got to go. I've got to go. And it was, so it, it was like a bittersweet. Yeah, it was a bittersweet yeah, yeah. moment. But it's fantastic. I kiss it every morning. I love yeah. it. I love it. I want some more. Yeah, yeah it's good. <laughs> it's hungry for more. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> but, but I'm really... Appreciative of what I have, yeah. and, you know, and yeah. if that's all I get, then that's all yeah. I get. But I've yeah. got one, and I'm really appreciative oh, yeah. appreciative of that. And because uh, I've, I've, you know, write, writing with lots of people over the years, they've got golden guitars yeah. sitting around. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I want one of those. <laughs> I mean, I could nick one, but it's not the same. Absolutely. You mentioned Lee Kurdigan before. Yes. You've worked with him as well. Absolutely, yeah. Lee. I've written. I've had. I think now 18 songs yeah. recorded by Lee. Mm, mm. Uh, but they've all been songs that I've written with Lee and most of them with Garth Porter also. So it would be Garth Porter and Lee and myself writing together. And I think four of those, four or five of those have gone to number one, mm, which, mm, is, mm. which has been fantastic. Mm, mm. And Lee's a great guy and I've learned a lot from Lee. I've learned a lot from Lee. And uh, he once said to me, um, um, oh, what did he say? I can't even think now. What did he say? He said... Um, a song is only as good as its idea. Mm. I think that was his way of saying, Matt, don't bring me shit ideas. <laughs> <laughs> great advice. Yeah, great yeah. advice. Yeah. And he's so right yeah. because a song is only, good, only as good as its idea. I mean, yeah. you can have a very ordinary idea yeah. and it's never going to be anything but an ordinary song. It's got a, the, the, a great song starts with a great idea. Yeah. 
an original concept, mm. a great idea. Then once you've got that idea, then you've got to use mm. your songwriting craft to craft that into something. But it all starts with the idea. So yeah. I, that, that was great advice from him that I still use and pass down to, to, right. um, to young artists these days. Thank you for sharing that on the panel show. That's why no, no worries. worries. <laughs> no worries. worries. <laughs> and another good friend of yours is Luke O'Shea's. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Luke's yeah. yeah. And one of his songs is Bad Advice and Poor Directions. There you go. Oh. So Luke's... Well, Luke, Luke and I from, uh, are from the same school of music, really. Yeah. We, we, I met Luke about 15 years ago when I was recording my first album. Mm. And, um, yeah, he's, he's been a friend of mine ever since. He's a great guy. He is. I've um, recently done some shows with him at, at the Wentworth Phil. Leagues. Uh, Wendy Le- Leagues. Leagues so, yeah, Wendy Leagues. He, and I run a songwriter show called The Scullion Sessions, okay. which is once a month in Newcastle. Mm. And I've had Luke come up for that. So okay. we've, sort of, we've sort of done each other favours over the years. No, he's a great bloke. He great. Is. Great songwriter. Oh, See, amazing. there's a, there's a, there's a guy that's a perfect example of great ideas. Yep. Mm. Taking that great song, great idea, mm. and you're like, wow, I've never thought about it like that before. Yeah. And that's what you want. Yeah. And that's, how many you want. golden guitars is Luke oh, one? I, 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 don't, I don't think he knows. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say to you, Leone, congratulations. You're actually up for a nomination for Radio Presenter of the Year. Uh, for community, your community work with at your triple R um, at the ICMA Awards. The ICMA I Awards, didn't know that. yes. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Well, yeah. I haven't done it. It doesn't matter. No, it's just fans. being nominated. No, yeah. nomination is fantastic. It's, yeah. yeah. And um, also. That's for your work at um, My Kind of Country, which is your show. It is triple my show, R, My Kind of which Country. Which is amazing. We're just around uh, greatness at the moment. So, <laughs> how does that make you feel? Um, it It's. Wonderful. I've been nominated a few times for it, which is really nice. You of know, course you Having <laughs> respect from people and, and knowing that people listen. Because you, you go on air and you think, wonder who's out there, you know, and you sort of, if you have something happen, you say, now we've got a bit of a problem. If yeah. anybody's listening, let me know if you can. And, do you know, the phone goes crazy and yeah, you think, you wow, <laughs> it's, it's a wonderful thing. I got nominated seven times before I won a golden guitar. Did you? So, Seven times. Okay. Seven. Sometimes it takes a while. Yeah. And but it's, just to be nominated just means, nice. that, means that you're getting acknowledgement yeah. from the industry. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, and, and that's fantastic. And 2 R mm-hmm. have nominated me for an award for Volunteer the of Volunteer the year. of the Year right. at Ride right. Council. Good luck with that one. And I think there's something else. Um, oh, I can't remember what it is at the moment. But, um, mm. yeah, it's it's great. It's it's wonderful to be nominated for things. And Yeah. Things. Can I just say, Leone, since you're on the panel show, you inspire me. If it wasn't from you, I wouldn't be the person that I am today sitting here right now with you and being part of Triple R. Oh, so I well, really, good. your work is just amazing. And, and I just want to sort of share that Thanks, with, with, our list, with all our <laughs> viewers. But, okay, I love you. Can I, I give you a hug? Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a kiss. Uh, but <laughs> Matt, I'll give you a hug and a kiss too. <laughs> you got, have your moment, it's all moment. good. Have your moment. Have your <laughs> which, is, which is fine. But wait, let's... You've got a brand new single out at the moment, which is called Aussie As, which is an amazing title Thank and you. an amazing single, and I did hear it earlier today. Yes. Thank you. Let's watch the video first. All right. Okay. okay we'll throw to the video, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Aussie As. A lazy Sunday Harvey Stubby in your hand Snag on the barbie Aussie as Nippers on the beach Kids on the veranda Fading lorikeets It's a blue tongue in the garden It's a footy on the roof it's a cheeky kookaburra laughing at you It's a hundred different cultures All rolled in the one It's calling Barry Bears Sharon Shares It's Aussie Ads Aussie as a raffle and a pub And chicken chow mein 
in a bowling club Aussie has a flutter on the cup And five bucks in the tin When the salvos show up It's a bugle call at sunrise It's a pinned on rosemary spring It's a rum and milk and ten on tiles Every April 25th It's a hundred different cultures All rolled into one It's Colin Barry Bears Sharon Shares It's Aussie Ass Oh, five the bathers A box of redheads matches Kids swinging on a hill's horse And bindies in the grass Cyclone called Tracy A ginger boy named Blue And Jack and Jill Aroo Now that's Aussie S Yachts on Boxing Day And that big smile On Luna Park's face It's a simple word like sorry It's a flag to call your own It's red, white and blue And it's red, black and yellow It's a hundred different cultures All rolled in one It's Colin Barry Bears Sharon Shares It's Aussie Ass A pair of tracky dads Aussie Ass That was amazing. Congratulations on thank that. You, thank it's you. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank now, you. There's a story behind that video and song. Can well, you share that with us? Yeah, absolutely. Well, well, the video. I mean, if you listen to the you listen to the words um, in Aussie as, um, they're very literal. And there's lots of pictures. There's lots of pictures about my growing up in Australia, like um, kids feeding lorikeets on a veranda. I mean, I remember that as an early age, being in Mollymook on the south coast where I grew up. You know, but coming out of the morning and the lorikeets everywhere and feeding them mm. and you know, obviously the blue tongues in the garden yeah. and um, just lots of, lots of different things and then different things I've seen over the years and things people have said to me. But the thing with Aussie Az is I spent a lot of years travelling around Australia yep. and then after that I spent a lot of years living over in Nashville, mm. over in America. So, mm. so when I came back um, it was like the accent was thicker. I heard things, I heard a lot of the sayings that we say over here. I knew we had sayings, but I didn't realise that we had so many. Mm. We're, we're like, a, we're like a, a nation built on slang. Mm. It's fantastic. Mm. Mm. And um, it's like if you, haven't, if you haven't eaten something for a long time and then, you, and then you have it, you go, oh my God, I forgot how much I love this. Not mm. that I forgot how much I loved Australia. Yeah. I just had my focus somewhere else. But when I came back, and I've been back here for three years now, mm. I'm totally focused on um, totally focused on this beautiful country more than I ever have been. So Aussie as Aussie as is just about the way I feel about Australia. Yeah. But what I had to do was really dig deep and try and try and say it a little bit differently because there's been so many great songs about Australia already. I mean, mm. there's so many amazing songs. Mm. I didn't want to just be one of those songs that was oh just another song about Australia. I mm. wanted to be a special mm. song about mm. Australia. Mm. 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 And then with the video, what I wanted to do, Michael, was because mm. the song's so literal, I wanted to make the video about the people yeah. and about multiculturalism and where Australia's heading in the future, you know, because Australia's changing all the time mm. and I'm really proud of this country. And so I wanted, mm. and I wanted to try and include everybody. You can't, my mother told me years ago, you can't make everybody happy and mm. you can't, but I want to try with this song. Okay. I want to, I don't want the person living in the middle of Sydney to feel alienated. Mm. I don't, like, yeah, I, I want to touch the person living mm. in Glebe. Mm. I want to touch the person living out of Broken Hill if mm. I can. Mm. Mm. Involve them all. I mean, that's, that's a big yeah. call. It's a big call to do that. Because mm. usually country songs, they're for country people mm. and city songs are for city people. Mm. I don't want this to be conceived as a country song. I want it to be conceived as a song about Australia. Mm. Yeah. If, yeah. I, if I can. I don't know if it's possible. But yeah. anyway. It's just beautiful. And then there is an, a, a man that plays 
Is it over 100 years old in the video? Jimmy 102 was, years oh old. Oh, my God. How did that happen? <laughs> okay. He's, yeah, his name, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. His, <laughs> name's, his name's Alf Carter, and he's yeah. the guy that you would have seen yeah. that was, that was throwing, throwing the, um, the pennies and the two up. Right. Now, that's Alf Carter. I wanted to have, um, I wanted to have a veteran in there. Um, but then again, there's been a lot of songs too with Anzac songs with soldiers and that in it. So I thought, how can I do it just a little bit differently? So I reached out to the RSL and I said, there's a guy in Newcastle <coughs> just around the corner from me. Yeah. His name's Alf Carter. He's 102 years old. I said, yeah. oh my God, this is perfect. So I went around and met Alf and he's so sprightly. And <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And I, and, I, and I said, so do you, do you like a beer, Alf? He said, I'm working on a carton right now. He's 102 <laughs> years old. <laughs> And then he starts talking about some next door neighbour that he's keen on that's, that's about 70 years younger than him. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, amazing. you know what I mean? He's so sprightly and cheeky. And he, so he wore his suit wore his suit and his medals and he threw the, threw the, threw the pennies. He, he, he's just a fantastic guy. So I've got to go around and catch up with Alf. Yeah. Um, take, the, take the iPad around there and show him the video. Mate. But the great uh, thing about Alf's place is you go into Alf's place and it's, and it's going, like going back in time. The newest thing that he has in his house <laughs> is a 1970s dial phone. Oh, oh That's really? the newest thing he's got in his oh, house. Wow. wow. It's, it's like <laughs> stepping back in time. It's fantastic. Look, how inspiring. This is amazing. Thank you for yeah. saying that. No worries. No worries. It's an inspiring story. Um, now, Leone, what's your passions outside of what you do? With oh, music and my so passion forth. is well within music. Yeah, is it going to country music festivals. Going, to, I've been going yeah. to Tamworth. Tamworth, let's talk about Tamworth. Years. Which is your show? You got a showcase there. I do, and I I'm do. Congratulations! I have you. a two triple R showcase, yeah. okay. and I give out awards. Yes, and yeah. where do you have that at? Mm. At the South Tamworth Bowler. Oh, yeah. beautiful place! And it's I great. love that bowler. Yeah. Oh, it's my favourite club. They they're really good. Do you have it at the back or in the main bar? In the main bar. In the main bar. Mm. Beautiful. Oh, that's yeah, great. it's yeah. great. Mm. And the you know the best part about that was I had a man come up to me and he touched me on the shoulder and he said, "Excuse me," and I said, "Yes," and I thought, "Oh, what have I done wrong?" Right. And he said. That, watching your awards and watching the artists get up there crying and, yeah. and thinking, I've never won anything. And it was so good, you yeah. know, and he said, these are the real awards. And I went, yeah. oh, wow, you know. And That's it, nice. It was so nice to be told that by yeah. a complete stranger that the two Triple R awards are real. It's wonderful. Yeah. Well, the seat, sorry, just to change the subject. Yeah. Getting back to it, this industry... Music, the music industry is so hard to break. It's so hard to get, so hard to get your foot in the in the right doors. You know, it's like I always I always compare it to it's like a dog needing a pat. Mm. You don't get mm. one mm. until you really start getting up there. So, um, at the ground level, at the roots level, mm. you need award shows like yours, mm. and you need presenters like you, and you need community radio mm. Um, mm. to get. To keep yourself going, you mm. know what I mean. Until hopefully one day you do get you do get the break, mm. you do win a golden guitar, mm. you mm. do start being able to do paid shows, mm. you do start getting on national TV and all those kinds mm. of things. But until then, mm. you know you need support. You got to mm. have support. So mm. so absolutely good on you for doing that mm. kind of stuff because that's what the, yeah. without that yeah. there'd be a big gap in the in the yeah. industry and a lot yeah. of people wouldn't even would a lot of people yeah. would give up yeah. mm. because you need acknowledgement as you as you rise yeah. through the ranks yeah. you really do and they it's very important to have that yeah. it's very important yeah. to have that yeah. Mm. yeah which brings me to my next question with yeah. you Matt yeah what does uh, Tamworth mean to you everything everything <laughs> I haven't missed one for 25 yeah. years even when I lived in America I'd come back every year yeah. and I'd and I'd uh, come back every January probably 25 years I haven't missed one I lived there for six years yeah uh, so Tam was like my second home. Yep, absolutely. I love going back mm. there, and I think the yeah. the festival is. I've, I've done most of the major yeah. festivals here in Australia, yeah. and they're all great. Yeah. But Tam was is very different. It's yeah. very original yeah. in the way yeah. it does yeah. things. It's yeah. fantastic, and it's a beautiful town and beautiful people there. So Talk about original. You're working on original music at the moment as well. So this this single is is, is, is the first single off the album. Yes, it is. Yep. Yeah. Um, when are we expecting the album? I'm hoping, I'm hoping around about August, September yep. is when I want to bring the album out. Uh, I've been in the studio with Shane Nicholson for the last couple of weeks. Yep. Uh, I've got one more week to go in the studio and then and then it takes a while to put finishing touches on and see what you've got to do. It's like making a pizza. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love to you make build it pizza. up, you there build you it up. It. And then <coughs> once you've got once you've got all the ingredients on it, then you've got to bake it. Yeah, but you've yeah, got to bake yeah, it at the right yeah. temperature and then you've got to pull it out at the right yeah. time. But you've got to get – it's all these different things. You've yeah. you got to do – and then you've got to cut it right. 
Yeah. And you've got to make sure yeah. the proportions go to the right people. That's don't right. You? It's, <laughs> it's, right. It's all you these do. kinds of things. So <laughs> yeah. I, I'm still at the moment. I'm still adding ingredients yeah. on the pizza. Ah, oh, fantastic. It's not in the oven yet. Well, I can't wait to taste yeah. it. <laughs> but, but I've got all the right ingredients. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's cool. Just putting them in the right Put together. Spots. Uh, putting amazing. them in the right spots. Yeah. Amazing. Mm. And what's your passion outside of music? I think a lot of it's uh, a it's it's a hard one because I spend so much time writing. I'm always writing. But I'd I'd have to say outside of music would be would be travelling with my fiance Sharon, which oh. which we're going about to Which get. we love, by the way. She's we're getting <laughs> we're getting married in August. Oh, congratulations! So, oh, wonderful. August twenty fourth. So, so so lately, lately we've been doing a lot of planning for that, and, yeah, and and things like that. But 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 Sharon and I love to travel. So we yeah. we only just got back from New Zealand. I'd never mm. been. Sharon had been yeah. before. We hired a little camper van and went around. Yeah. Went spent ten days going around the South Island. Yeah, oh, and beautiful. we're looking at in a couple of years, mm. just pretty much getting in, getting in a caravan and travelling around yeah. Australia, and I'll just be, I'll just perform wherever. Yeah. And, and yeah. Mm. But say, I, I'd say, apart from, I'm always writing, I'm always yeah. songwriting. Mm. But yeah. if I had to say what I would do outside of that, it, it would be, it would be travelling with, yeah. travelling with my sweetheart. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, You've touched me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you're also busy as well. You just got back from uh, Queen Bien, which is. I did. A, I did. What were you doing there? And you've got a gig as well today. Yeah. No, I did. Um, I, I played on Friday night with my good mate Drew McCallum. Okay. So I opened up for him. He's such a fantastic yep. guy and great performer. And yep. he actually takes me on a few shows with him. Yep. And then last night I did a little um, a little solo gig myself in a in a pub called the Tourist Hotel in Queen Bien. We had a ball of a night. Mm. Yeah, yeah, oh, it was yeah. a good night. I've got yeah. another question for you. Okay. okay. Who's your three yeah. favourite songwriters? Uh, favourite songwriters? That you write with, yeah. Oh, that ah. I write with. That, yeah. Ah, oh, I was going to say three favourite yeah. that I don't write with. No, no, that, that you write with. Because write you've written with. with some amazing yeah. people. Yeah, one of them is myself. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Love the way we write together. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> My number one would be... Um, oh, let me think. Jeez, it's, mm. a, geez, it's, it's a hard, hard question, one. isn't it? You've worked with everybody. Lots of people. Mm. I'm just trying to think. Obviously, I love I, I love to write with Garth Porter. Mm. I've learned so much off Garth Porter. He's amazing. Over the years. Mm. Um, I'd have to say Alan Caswell. I was going to say Alan Caswell's got to be right up there. And Drew um, McAllister. He's Drew McAllister. Pretty. Luke. Luke. Wow. Um, we should have said ten. <laughs> there's so many. You know, there's just there's yeah. just there's just so many that I. Um, Laurie Minson. Laurie Minson's great to write with. Yeah. He's such a good writer. He he, is. There's just so many. There's so many. Um, yeah. And yeah, that's man. why it's yeah. really good yeah. recognising Australian talent, especially yeah. in the country music scene. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Actually, actually, my favourite, my favourite would be Luke Austin. Oh. oh. Yeah. I write with Luke at least once a week on Skype. Wow. He lives in Melbourne and we write and we write and we write and we write. And we write some amazing songs and Luke's going to be bringing a new album out soon. Mm. And I'm, I'm hoping to have a heap of songs on it. He, mm. we, we write some great songs. But um, mm. I, I was going to say, if I would have to say my favourite writers I don't write with, that I haven't written with yet, mm. my number one would be Paul Kelly. Oh, oh yeah, cool. Absolutely. Yeah. He's, he's just inspiring. John Williamson. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. James see, Blundell. Yeah. James Blundell's great. Yeah. But there's two guys right there, um, John Williamson and Paul Kelly. Yeah. They just think outside the box. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And when they write, and, but, but they probably don't even try to think outside mm, the box. Mm, it's mm. just the way that they're, that they're programmed, you mm. know. Mm, mm. I mean, you know, John Williamson just comes up with some amazing, you hear it and you go, how did you think of that? That's so cool. Yeah. And they write small. They write about little things, yeah. but they're significant. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you get too big in your songwriting or too yeah. grand, yeah. You, yeah. you want to touch people with little everyday things, yeah. and I think that's really important, especially for country music. Little, Absolutely. small little everyday yeah. things. Mm. Brushing your teeth. Yeah. I, know, I don't know. Little things. Little, yeah. little things. Little things. You know, let's write a song about brushing your teeth and make it interesting. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? Okay. If I get one last question before I get you to sing some, some tunes, if you, if you don't mind. Oh, no worries. To the power it's early, but that'll be cool. Okay. What message do you have for those aspiring songwriters, musicians out there? Okay. That are um, trying to break through. Okay, number one, number one would be believe in yourself at all times. Don't give up. Don't give up. Um, definitely don't give up. Be around people that be around people that make you feel good about yourself and that and that um, support you. Um, but I, the biggest thing I do is dig deep for those really original concepts and ideas. And remember that remember that just because Lee Kernigan or Becky Cole said it, it's already been said. Yeah. 
So dig deep for something yeah. and say something, find your own voice yeah. and dig deep, for some, dig deep for an original concept, an idea and try and stand out. We all, get, we all have, we're all a product of our, of our playlists or yeah. of our record collection, mm. but what mm. you've got to do to be successful in this business is step outside of that and find yourself. Mm. Because, because if you're going to sound like Lee or Becky Cole, there's already one of those already and no mm. one's going to do it yeah. better than those people. Yeah. So you need to find your, yourself. Yeah. But sometimes that takes a long time to do that. But yeah. aspire to aspire to be your own person with your own sound and your mm. own your own ideas and your own themes. Oh, fantastic. Wise words right there on yeah. the panel show. Thank you, Matt. No worries. Leonie? I have to say always contact me at Two Triple R. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's your radio I, platform guys. I will support any independent. Yeah. I love I love yeah. all country music artists. Mm. I love all mm. music yeah. artists, but mm. sometimes I'll I'll find someone at a market. Yeah. And um, I I go, oh my goodness, <laughs> come into Two Triple R and sing. And they're not country. They've just got the most amazing voices. Yeah. And I think, wow, you know, yeah. it's yeah. just a wonderful thing to be able to help promote people and and do what they do and love what they do. So, yeah. Yeah. Can, well, sorry, can yeah, I just quickly suck in real quick because yeah. I don't want to forget this. You're masculine, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> with Aussie Yaz, with yeah. Aussie Yaz, we're talking about private people to write with. Yes. I also love to write with my good mate Paul Grierson. Okay. Uh, now, Paul's from Simply Bush. Now, I, I co wrote Aussie Yaz okay. with, with Paul. Okay. And part of the reason that Aussie Yaz has what it has in it is because of Paul, too. Okay. And I took oh. the idea to Paul, and together we wrote that song. So I don't want to forget, I don't want to leave yeah. that out. Because, <laughs> That's amazing. No, because it, it was a very big, yeah. important part of yeah. that song. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you go. yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That's well, yeah. we're filming in Douglas Park, and Paulie lives in Douglas Park. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hello, guys. He's probably listening. G'day, Paul. Come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a good friend of Rhonda's. So oh, there you go. He certainly yeah. is, and a, a good friend yeah. of ours. Yeah. Well, to be it's been an absolute honour to have you guys on, on the show, Matt Scullion. I've been an honour, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you so much. You, you're amazing. You. And, um, and, love, and Leanne. Thanks, you, you. Thanks, I love you man. both. And But we've got a special right here on the panel show. I want to get you, take it away. A, sing a song? Yes, please. Yeah. Sing a song, maybe even two. Right, this is a song, um, a song all about my hometown. Oh, okay, beautiful. Um, and the thing, about this, the thing about this song is I wanted to, instead of just talking about my hometown, I wanted to talk about... Um, the sticker on my guitar case, right? which is my hometown, and I carry it everywhere I go. And whenever the sticker wears off, I get another sticker and stick it next to that sticker. And it's a conversational point no matter where I go, this sticker. So anyway, that's, that's what this song's awesome. about. Thank you. sticker has been around the block I bought it in a surf shop it cost me five bucks I stuck it on my guitar case and sealed it with a song everybody knows where I come from my Isla Dala sticker catches your eye it's a conversation starter a name to break the ice Somebody's always been there They tell me every time They see that sticker of mine But now it's starting to fade And I guess I'll have to buy a new one When I'm down there next They could send one in the post But what a great excuse To get back home My Isla Dala sticker has got itchy feet It can't sit still for too long It's got places to be Though it's seen most of Australia It's not one to brag It's the most travelled sticker I've had but now it's starting to fade and I guess I'll have to buy a new one When I'm down there next They could send one in the post But what a great excuse Beautiful. To get back home It's even been overseas 
other countries And it's funny when they try to read it And they say Oola doola <laughs> Somebody tried to steal it But it wouldn't unstick Now there's fingernail marks On the corner bits So I guess we'll be together Till the road ends Just like travelling friends But now it's starting to fade And I guess I'll have to buy a new one When I'm down there next But the least I can do Is stick the new one next to it And I'll have to I just loved it. Loved yeah. it, loved it, loved it. I actually loved it that much. But I'd love you to do another song if you can. Oh, if, if, you, if you're willing to do that. Of course we can. Can I let you go right now? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do that? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to sing along with me? Oh, yeah. you sing it and I'll join in. <laughs> so, so this is one. Um, yeah. This is my very first Golden Guitar nomination about 12 years ago, oh, this song. Yeah. Oh, I just wow. moved down from, from Darwin yeah. and I moved to Tamworth mm. and I met a fella called Laurie Minson. Now, Laurie... Laurie uh, has lived there all his life and Laurie's played, he was, he was the musical director and, and, and guitar player and harmonica player in Lee Kernighan's band mm. for 20 years. And he's also played with Jimmy Barnes and Ross Wilson and he's, a, he's amazing, a very, a very good friend of mine, great songwriter. He's won a couple of golden guitars too. He his father was John Minson. Now John Minson, mm. they used to call Mr. Hoedown. Mm. He started the Tamworth Country Music Festival. Wow. So he's, he was, wow. he was, he was, he was, uh, very, yeah, yeah, he was one of the guys that started that. And uh, anyway, I'll, yeah, thank I'll, you for that. Story. I'll sing the song, yeah. Amazing. It goes a bit like this. Well, I was just a no hoper, a lazy so and so, living on welfare in a trailer for a home. With no prospects for the future Until that fateful night When I met my sugar mama I was 20 <laughs> years younger But she said she didn't mind <laughs> Well I could see that she was lonely So I let her buy me a beer Well I was staring at her diamonds And she was checking out my rear <laughs> Although I've never eaten lobster It goes well with champagne <laughs> And now I'm driving her Mercedes Though I miss those trailer ladies I really can't complain Cause she took all your hard and money And she's spending it on me Well I'd like to thank you buddy For your generosity why well, I'm living like a king With my very own money tree She took all your hard and money And she spending it on me Now I'm a man of leisure Although I work real hard to stay under the limit of her credit card <laughs> And when I'm finished up my shopping Well I'm working on my tan <laughs> In my alligator boots and my Armani suits Well I'm a self-made man <laughs> And she took all your hard-earned money and she's spending it on me I'd like to thank you buddy For your generosity Well I'm living like a king Like 
like a Hollywood celebrity. She took all your hard and money and she's spending it on me. Well, you wasted all those precious hours working on your bank account when all she wanted was a little affection, but it's too late for you. And I'll look after your house. <laughs> Although I might change the colour <laughs> and build a room out the back <laughs> for my sister and my mother. <laughs> I've taught your poodle to hunt rabbits <laughs> and your wife to drink moonshine. Oh, the fridge is always full. My family love the pool. I'm a popular guy. All your hard earned money, <laughs> and she's spending it on me. But I'd be happy to lend you some interest free. <laughs> well, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy, one so deservedly. She took all your hard earned money, <laughs> and she's spending it on me. All your hard earned money, and she's spending it on me. And you can take that to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, absolutely that was awesome. amazing. Oh, thank you. That was amazing. Thank you so Ooh. much. Is that Oop. you or me? <laughs> That's all. Thank That's you for joining us on the panel show. No worries. For hearing the hear music. Thank you for having me, Thank Michael. Thank you so much. No, Can I give you a hug? Person. You're amazing. Oh, you're amazing. You. I'll give you a hug too, darling. <coughs> Leonie. Thank you, Thank you so that much, guys. Great. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>